Man, that was a very... We we did have a wash in the first set earlier with the Tamanegi and Kamizono face-off. But this time, we're going to have SHK and Naomihara up next. So here's a, the trader video. He still got a pretty good lead here, but SHK... Oh, nice, what a whip nice. punish! Oh, is Desi's Garbar still in trouble? Oh. Nice whip punish. How did he grab her right there? He's gonna do a lot. Get cut, alright? Time to set up. He can't block! Good damage off this. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he so lights it up right now. Here we go. Can she handle? Oh, nice low. Yes, he's a very cheeky person. The the living theme of the Japanese community. <laughs> Here we go. Tomaneki trying to get back to center stage. Oh, Switch that's going to be yeah. a hit. It's a big, big return. Just going for all these break attacks now that he has soul charge. And nice launch. Oh, oh now nice 9A. And there it is. Guard break into CE. Now be hard, just looking really clean so far. Uh, Incredible. I'm, Both these players, specialists in their chosen character. I'm really excited for this um, matchup because we both, uh, they're both frequent Fighting Tuesday goers as well. They both know each other very well. Um, I honestly don't really know who's going to win because I do think SHK is more well known, but Naomi Hara has been really leveling up recently. Mm. But before that, I know we need to give thanks to Astro Gaming for sponsoring this event. Yes, Astro Gaming, the official headset and mix amp of the Soul Calibur Online Challenge. And this year, we're extending our partnership to the casters. Each caster is using a special edition Astro TR main stage headset to bring the hype to you guys at home. Now, um, before entering our match, we do have another video where we did interview SHK and Naomihara on their thoughts about this upcoming exhibition match. Let's hear what they have to say. So, this is the first time I've been able to do this. I've been able to do そうですね。基本は多分ザサラメルだけなんじゃないですかね。あの、彼とソフィティアは別にそんな俺にこう対抗できるほどのレベルじゃないんで、もう出てこないと思います。と、多分ザサラメルに対してはアズエル<笑> プラを立てて、え、予備はどうするのか、攻略、パシンとと言いますか、そこら辺で朝をつけて勝とうかなと。弱点としては、うーん、あんにて人が良くて、信頼しすぎる時があるんですよね、相手を。結構その第3の手を用意した時を考えてない時あるんで、今回その
チケというよりは、あれですね、ダサラビールって結構、わからん殺しというか、対策してない人に対してすごく強くて。大舞台ってなると、上がったりするのかなと思ってるので、この場をね、このキシビジョンを引き寄らず戦いに来てくださいよと、戦力出してくださいよということで、お願いします。海外では結構そのダサラベルを弱くしろって声が多いんですけど、これ以上弱くしたら、あの SHK さん勝てなくなっちゃうんで、みんなでもっと優しくしてあげてください。勝てなくなっちゃうんで、彼が。Those were definitely some words by both those players. What an amazing interview. Naomi Hara's confidence is really shining, predicting the 5-2. Yeah, that, that is a bold statement, but not. Very- Ridiculous because of what we just witnessed in the first first of five. Yes,、uh, we did have a wash, but maybe SHK can prove Naomi Hara wrong.、Mm. Just know that these players have a lot of practice against each other. Let's see who has more clutch factor.、Uh, we did see an impressive run from them in yesterday's tournament.、Um, SHK, what definitely stood out in his matches was his situa- situational awareness, his ability to just do wall combo after wall combo. Was probably one of the highlights of yesterday's tournament. Yeah, s i m f i c i e n t for those combos paid off more times than not. Okay, be- let's see what you guys at home thought about this matchup. Who do you think will win this between SHK and Namihara? Let's take a look. A、oh. perfect 50 50 split. Oh. Yeah, it could go either way if I think about it. I definitely think SHK is the. Well, more、uh, like what SHK was saying earlier,、um, Naomi Hara doesn't have as impressive a, of a track record tournament wise, but Naomi Hara made it to the top eight yesterday. He had a very hype set with Teru Teru <laughs> in yesterday's match. From playing both of these people, their skill level is about the same, I would say. So it can really be a toss up who can clutch in certain situations and who can keep the tide of battle longer. Yeah, I think it comes down to who can maintain、um, composure when it matters in this matchup. Absolutely. Once again, big thank you to Astro Gaming for their innovative designs and always supporting the FGC. Much love, Astro Family. Welcome to and now we're getting into the match.、Retold. Starting it off, SHK and Naomi Hara. I don't think we'll be seeing any weird character picks here, like they said. Both of these character,、uh, both of these players are character specialists in their own right. Undoubtedly, we're going to see an Aswell versus Zaz the Mel. Leave Zaz alone, by the way. <laughs> Just again, in North America. Again, remember, Naomi Hara said, please be kind to Zaz the Mel. Zaz the Mel had some great representation yesterday, not only through SHK, but through Yudato. Mm. Beating the final boss, Dechi. Definitely worth a watch. And we're getting into it. Dear Soul s t i l l b u r n let's go! Red vs. White. Sporting the J- Japanese flag colors for sure. Oh, we're starting it off with some good old Jankin. Nice block from SHK here. We're getting into the Zasamo Blender now. But now you can see Naomi Hara just、uh, crouching and tech jumping over here. Nice lethal hit on the whip punish there. Already we're seeing、um, Naomi Hara get blendered by、um, the Zas- uh, Zasamo's uh, horizontals and vertizontals in general. Yeah, SHK is not letting Mihara run his game plan. The taunt! T Bag! SHK saying, you may be the one that's confident, but I'm confident too. Yes. Even Clefty getting the deal hit into. Oh, unfortunately, no、uh, reverse ring out there. These two are both answering each other with lethal hits. Oh, smart move from Naomi Hara there, just、um, backstepping and using his stand transitions to get away from、uh, SHK's、uh, moving forward and offense. Naomi Hara's like, get off me, I'm gonna soul charge here into the bubble! And Mihara uses his soul charge move to take the round. Ground, ground punch. 
<laughs> um, nice uh, pokes from SHK there, but now Mihara goes for the typical um, Aswell mix up there. SHK trying to bring Namihara in closer to start the Vortex. Dude, nice but muscle buster here. Muscle buster! The Daikenji! Oh. Will this reach? Wait. Oh! Not quite. Avoid the CE there! Look this stance teleport. Smart move from Namihara. Namihara catches him with the AA and sword. A nice uh, option there from Namihara trying to cut SHK from stepping. Although SHK is also retaliating some more with some more steps. Able to secure some curses onto Namihara. Unfortunately, Namihara doesn't re um, commit to that auto GI. Oh, nice block of the curse there. Get off me by Namihara. Namihara is very aware of Zasumo's plus frames. Oh, launcher into CE, this should kill here. Especially since he's in Soul Charge. There it is, and now Mihara takes game one. SHK not using any of his meter. Yeah, I believe that's a very common feature among Japanese players in general, um, where a lot of Japanese players like to conserve their meter. But Naomihara is actually one of the few Japanese top players that Welcome likes to, to use his meter when he can. As and he should. Had, and he definitely had good meter usage there. Like that one round where he won with the SC bubble. Like definitely SHK won the first round and started teabagging. But Naomihara was just that confident in this matchup. Well, he's definitely aiming for the 5-2. <laughs> definitely aiming for the 5-2. Let's see if he can pull it off. Into game two we go. We are going to Indian port. Oh, we're seeing SHK gain some momentum here. Nice step from SHK getting the launch. Some really nice combos here. Do the low poke on wake up. Oh, nice step from SHK, predicting that Naomihara would go for the launcher after that. Reverse edge from Naomihara into the lethal hit. Lethal hit on the step counter there. Nice step. Now it seems SHK changed his playstyle to from curses to just getting more damage. And it's paying out for him. Well, that was some very sick neutral from SHK over there. Yeah, he's just... More focused on uh, keeping Namihara in a vortex kind of place right now. Seems that SHK is perfectly predicting all of the linear moves Namihara is throwing out. Yeah, Namihara is just stepping way too much against a character who's known for his horizontals, and that's probably why he was aiming for that deep hit. Oh! Ooh. Nice roll and the get up and get up attack. To the width of the lethal hit. Again, SHK just. Landing a lot of moves in neutral right now. Now Mihara fighting back with a soul charge. He really likes to use that meter. Into the break dance. Oh no! Beyblade just. Break attacks do beat Zazamel's CE. Yes, and now Mihara was aware of that. He was aware that SHK could possibly do a CE and went for the Beyblade Break Attack. Smart move. Not only does that um, uh, waste um, some of SHK's meter, he definitely did that to cheat neutral. He needed to get in. We're seeing more patience from Namihara here, but he's still getting stepped. Yeah, SHK on point with these steps. He's very aware of um, now Mihara's string us usage. Yes, I wonder how long it'll take Mihara to adapt and start throwing more horizontals. Because SHK has definitely changed his game plan from the previous game. And now Mihara's struggling to adapt. Oh, now he's having some fun though. Now Mihara with really nice reads on when SHK wants to bring out the Abyss. <laughs> 
Yeah, I Excuse can. Mix appears. Again, just really smart from Naomi Hara. Most players would have pressed the button there. Oh! Goes for oh. reverse and cancel, but Naomi Hara takes the round anyway. Goes for the curse explosion. Nice auto GI from Naomi Hara. He's slowly getting used to SHK's tempo over here. Got some on Soul Charge. Are we going to see some big damage? We definitely see a fireball. Trying to place some more curses on Naomi Hara here. Oh! Nice punish here. With punish from Naomi Hara into the lethal hit. And a lethal hit because SHK was crouching. Mihara takes game two! Mihara takes game two again, and even though we saw SHK, he definitely tried to change up his uh, playstyle in the beginning over there, but it seems Welcome like now Mihara was game. able to adapt to it slowly and got the tree, the comeback, even though SHK was up by two rounds, I believe. I do think SHK, we're gonna see him start winning soon. He is. He changed his game plan, he's reading Mihara's verticals pretty well. It's just that when Mihara changes his playstyle, SHK has to adapt instantly to be able to close out rounds. Definitely. Oh, we're in the forest. Are we going to see 10 million wall stats in a bit? Possibly. We saw plenty of those in yesterday's matches. I think like just how Miyahara is looking out for his CEs, he's going to be looking out for the wall splats as well. Yeah. Nice oh, Miyahara winning the, the guard impact mind games there. Goes for the break attack because he predicted SHK with GI back. And there's the wall splat! The first wall splat of this game. Unfortunately, oh. Ooh, back here mix-ups. Yes, SHK going for the no mix up mix up from back there in his status here. It's pretty funny. But it worked out for him, it definitely did. Being near the wall is definitely dangerous for Mihara. Nice duck there. No punish though. Yeah, now Mihara's just trying to pressure SHK's uh, guard damage here. Yeah, now Mihara trying to get away from the wall. And then decides to go for the Dike Engine. Doesn't kill though, what's the wake up? Oh. Gets him with a 2A. One a piece. Nice lethal hit on the whiff. Now Mihara ducks the grab and goes for the Muscle Buster. Not quite a wall splat. Not quite a wall splat, but it did put SHA closer to the wall. Yeah, now Mihara's just trying pressuring SHK with a lot of horizontal moves right now. Now Mihara just really knows SHK's patterns in terms of CEs. Mihara does have a very good read of when SHK wants to press a button. Nice step. Nice step into the lethal hit. And now Mihara just pressuring SHK with a lot of offense right now. Gets the wall spat! Don't underestimate SHK by the wall. SHK and the wall is a friendship that one should not underestimate. Mihara is so good at predicting these CE attempts. Gets the wall spat this time around though. Goes for the low option. Gets the AGI. Goes for the soul attack, crushing now uh SHK to the wall, but SHK retaliates with the wall spat. SSK drops the wall combo going back to Mihara, mentioning his lack of fundamentals. But he's still able to close out the round. Yes. Oh! Two rounds apiece. Yes, because in that previous round, SHK was definitely 
not looking so good. He had a very little life left, and his guard damage was blinking red, but in the interview, it was stated that SHK is really good at um, keeping his composure, uh, doing well under situations where he's pressured. So that definitely displayed in that previous round, but here, Naomi Har is just dominating. He was able to tr uh, convert the guard break lethal hit into a wall splat, but was not able to continue that combo. <gasps> Again, lethal hit in the back. Again, this is re really Oh! I was about to say SHK was really doing well. Trying to fight for a comeback over there. But the auto GI! Yes, SHK was able to reset that combo pretty quickly. Uh, pretty effectively. But all the Harry needed to do Welcome was the mid-low GI. History. And it paid off for him. It definitely paid off for him. And the amount... I'm surprised that Mihara has not gotten hit by one CE at all so far in any of the games. Yes, SHK needs to realize that and either switch it up or just use Soul Charge. I think it would be more effective because it can give him curse uh, curses to work with. Uh, definitely. Although I think um, SHK's Zasimil playstyle is a lot more um, critical edge heavy based on past footage I've seen of him. Mm. I know I've been hit by him multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, All right, went to game four. Uh. All right, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good start for SHK. He has two curses already. There's that one. One curse. It looks like one curse. Catching him stepping. Read the R R E. Able to step and get a punish. Yeah, it seems like okay, SHK okay. usually secures the first round, but Namihara just adapts slowly over time. Maybe it's an intentional game plan to play slow and then speed it up at the end there. Nice back turn mix up. It's a 50 50. Decides to use his curse there. Nice uh, tech crouch from SHK there. Avoiding Namihara's grab. Catches him stepping! Mm. He's able to get the kill without busting his guard so he can save it for the next round. Nice block on the muscle buster, but no punish. The no mix up mix up from Naomihara is going full cheese right now. I mean, I'm fully taking advantage of his I-10 AA. And closes it out with the Muscle Buster. Abunai desio. <laughs> Abunai desio. It's dangerous. It's dangerous if you don't block the Muscle Buster. Nice block on the loader from SHK. Slowly beginning to pressure um, now Mihara's guard gauge. Successfully lands a curse on Namihara while trying to maintain this um, tempo right now. Yeah. Nice counter hit. Lethal hit. This is big damage right here. Oh, he finally lands a CE! We're gonna see the abyss! Nice go. So break dancing from Namihara. Nice block. Doesn't get a punish though. Steps his um offense there. Oh the launch! It's a long range whiff punish. He's able to close it out. Down to the final round again. Oh! Nice. Jank. SHK getting that needle hit. Mm. Hara, yeah, Namihara wanted to um, cut off SHK, SHK stepping there. Decided to go for the soul attack so he could be more aggressive in soul charge, maybe. Nice read on the soul charge string there from Mihara. Again! The block from Naomihara! 
nice bash from Namihara. He knew he he would be out of range. SHK couldn't continue that first combo. Oh, nice grab break. Oh. Cannot get two in a row. This is death. Namihara is up four games. Are we going to see another... Another 5-0? Another 5-0? Everyone just washing each other today? Huh? <laughs> Everyone be cleaning. <laughs> Everyone be cleaning. Welcome to the stage <laughs> but I believe in SHK. We, we gotta believe in the cursed time. Mm. Now Miara, might, he might be getting buffed through the powers of his new masks. We don't know. Mm, who knows? Maybe it's an act by SHK so people stop criticizing SH, uh, Zazamel. <laughs> Be kind to Zaslamil, guys. That's not Mihara's PSA. Be kind to Zaslamil. We're going into game five. Now Mihara up four games for a 4 0. Let's see if SHK can turn it around. And so far, off to a good start, but that's always how every round went. Nami, yeah, Anami is just good at clutching out and zapping. Absolutely, every game has been close. But Mihara can just pull it out. There's three curses now saying Anami Hara. Are we gonna see some curse time? Mm, waste the curse. Yeah, it doesn't commit to it. Anami Hara blocked it, so he, he couldn't get a punish oh, yeah. no matter what. Yeah. But yeah, he definitely wastes, um, wasted all those curses, unfortunately. <gasps> With guts, is this gonna kill? It does! Good. Incredible damage! Back steps a 2A. Yeah, SHK beginning the tempo again. That manages to land another curse. Predicting um, Namihara's linear offense and then stepping there to get a success successful launch. Oh man, the auto GI is so good. Cuts out Namihara's reversal edge. I'm not too sure what Namihara was going for. Maybe he was trying to get more meter? Maybe he didn't want to deal with the uh, back turn 50-50 mix-up, but it didn't come out Let's quite see. fast enough. And he's going to be punished for it! Just randomly throwing CE out like that? Not recommended, guys. Not recommended. Nice lethal hit here. Yeah, SHK has actually been really on point with the lethal hits. Tip range, Muscle Buster doesn't initiate the grab. Another one here. This is big damage, this could kill. Definitely kills. Yeah, we're seeing SHK fight back. SHK needs one more round, he has two full bars. Let's see if we can pull it out. He might use it again for some more CEs, but that strategy hasn't exactly worked out so far in this set. More curses. Mm, Namihara reads the CE attempt again. Oh, ducks the break attack. Into the muscle buster! Namihara tied up the rounds. He is on set point. Both players have two bars of meter to spend as well. Smart SHK staying on the ground there for a little bit. Oh, this is the first soul charge from SHK we're seeing. <gasps> Again. Mm, Mid-low auto GI. To the muscle buster. Wall splat? Not quite. But there's the wall there splat there. Oh! oh! What a way to end the FD5! Now Mihara gets the wall splat and uses the special CE. Uh, soul charge CE to end it. The most epic. CE in the game. Now Mihara, proving that he's the true savior of humanity. Savior of humanity. You saw it here, folks. Another first, another first to five ending in a 5-0.
by the hands of Naomi Hara. Wow. That's just amazing. Amazing. I wasn't expecting to see that. I was expecting to see a much closer game because I know how powerful SHK can be. The thing is, um, SHK, um, don't get me wrong. All of the matches were really close though. It's just that Naomi Hara is just way better at clutching it out and he's slowly, um, we call it Yomiai, right? In Japanese, um, he, so, he definitely got a lot of reads on SHK's tempo towards the end of each match, specifically. Yeah, I don't think he got hit by one CE aside from the one where it was into a combo. Yeah, and that that's impressive on, in its own right. You know how many times I've gotten hit by SHK's CE in Fighting Tuesday? I think it's a very relatable feeling amongst Japanese players here in Japan. And the fact that Naomihara didn't get hit by a single one except for that one into the combo, just, it's really impressive, man. Yes, you and me both. It <laughs> seems they have a lot of experience fighting each other, and now Mihara has made it a point never to get hit by his CE again. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Just, wow, like the use of that auto GI from Namihara, the mid low. Mm. It worked out in a lot of situations for him. Yes, and we're about to have an interview with both of these players. I wonder if uh, Naomihara wore his mask and that gave him power. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can ask him that. Onegaishimasu. Onegaishimasu. <laughs> what did you guys think of that match? Uh, do you think uh, SHK could have clutched it out better in some of the matches? It, or do you think Naomihara is just that strong? Or an even better question, what do you guys think of Zazamel now? I still think. Leave Zaz alone. Kikoi Maska. Uh, so, so again, we're here with Naomihara and SHK. Uh, Nao-san, strong <laughs> uh, well, of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, I just told Naomihara he was very strong. He was like, of course. Mm. Omeru to gozaimasu. Omeru to gozaimasu. Arigotamasu. Omeru to gozaimasu. SHK-san, eto... Kini naru koto wa, eto... Ima zasuromeru to... シカラはどう思いますかいや、負けて、負けていづらいんですけど、ま、強いとは思いますよ。もう、いいんじゃないと思いますけど、あの、ま、アズベルも強いじゃないですか。そうですね。えっと、アズベルかザサルム、ザサ
足にしてザス、まあ、あとザサラメールが強くなったんで、あの、ま、一つ前のパッチですかね。ああ、そうです、ね。前回のパッチで。なんで、あまあ、ちょっとザサラメール研究したいんで、ザサラメール今はやってますね。ああ、はい、OK。So,、um, I asked Ash- SHK if he uses any other characters aside from Zasalamel. He does have a pocket Sophitia, and he did think about using her in the、um, exhibition, but he decided to stick with Zasalamel because he prefers the character and he believes he's gotten a lot stronger with the most recent patch.、Mm. Uh, yeah, so, so those matches were close. Yeah, so now, son, I know Astorotsu and Cervantes are using it. Yeah, so now, そうですね。So, I'm pretty sure for those of you who watched Soul Cabra Without Borders, you saw Namihara use Astaroth and Cervantes, right? I asked him why he decided to go with Aswell for this um, uh, first to five. Um, Nam san said that he did think about using Astaroth actually in today's、um, matchup, but he believes Aswell is just a better matchup against Zasomel. So, that's why he went with Aswell today. And so, Shin Nam san, so, uh, シン・カメンはすごかったですね。あ、青いのやつ。<笑>あ<ー><笑>あの、あれですか、あの、骸骨の、あれですか、ね、かぶってる。<笑>今かぶっているんですかいや、今はね、かぶってないです。<笑>ぶっちゃけてしまうと。<笑><笑>はいはいはい。あ、uh,、ひさ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、No, he wasn't because he wouldn't be able to see anything. Advice, I must go. It's a CIO player, and you know, I'm going to ask you. 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 あのストイックにプレイしようっていう人が結構いるんですけどなんかすごいトレーニングモードやったりとかしなきゃいけないってイメージあると思うんですけどあの僕とかデイチさんとかたも、まあ、今日やったたも昨日のファイナルボスのデイチさんとか今日の 5-0 で勝ったタモネギさんとかが毎週水曜日あのあの配信してるんですけど、まあ、それ見ていただけたら分かると思うんですけど、まあ、楽しくやってあのあのいわゆる今日エキシビジョンやるような強い人,人でも、まあ、自分で言うのもなんですけど、今日も大勢で負けたんで何とも言えないですけど、あのー、そういう人たちがあの楽しくワイワイ、足らない話しながらやってで、それでモチベーションをつなげて、また次の対戦、次へ対戦へってなってるんで、まあ、とにかくあのなんか楽しみながら対戦を続けていくことが一番うまくなる秘訣だと自分は思っています。はい、えっと、ナオさんから。<笑>えーとまあ、ちょっとこれを言うと、ね、SHK 選手と逆のことになっちゃうけど、まあ、自分の場合はやっぱしそのモチベーションを保つっていう部分がやっぱ自分の成長特に自分はちょっとキャリバー5の頃にや,っぱやりきれなかった後悔があったので今回は絶対にその上に行くって決めてやってた部分があってその一からスタイルを変えるために本当に練習量はかなり人よりか練習してるっていうのはあるんですけどやっぱその。自分が今までできなかっできないと思ってることをやっぱずっとやってきた、やめずにやってきた結果が今日本のこの結果にあると思うんで、まあ、ちょっと、もちろん SHK 選手の言ってることも、えー、とそうなんですけど、まあ、俺みたいなこういうモチベーションの保ち方の人もいるので、まあ、本当にどうしても勝ちたいっていうか、まあそうですね。まあ、その、はい、<笑>なんだろう、自分みたいなをモチベーションにできる人間もいるんで、まあ、とりあえず練習しましょう。Okay, so SHK's advice to becoming a stronger player is、um, of course,、um, a lot of、uh, fighting game players, a lot of them spend time in training mode, and that is definitely something a lot of top players have in common. But again, it's similar to Tamanegi's advice, where the most important part is having fun with the game. 
um, SHK was talking about how every Wednesday um, he usually plays with Dechi, Tamanegi. They always hang out and stream it in their lobbies. And even though they're trying to learn each other, the most important part is having fun. And that continues to help with raising your motivation to become a better player. And um, in Namihara's case, um, he definitely said uh, that his way of getting a motivation is um, actually kind of different. It's not about like playing with people he finds fun. It's like he believes that the way each player should practice is kind of different. And the way of finding each player's motivation is different. Ito, saigo ni, ano, message? Mina san ni, stay, stay, あれ、ダフザサラって言いましょうね。あの、これからバフザサラメールですから。よろしくお願いします。SHK <笑> It's not SHK. Uh, Naomi Hara said hashtag buffs us. I, I apologize for the confusion. えっと、僕でいいですかね。えっと、すいません。まあでも、そう、50なんですけど、まあ、そんな、そんな悪い試合内容だったとは思ってないんで、言うほど、まあ、まあ、50なんて何とも言えないですけど、まあ、見てくれ